Hi there. Welcome to Draw With Me. I'm Danny Gregory, and uh, I see a lot of clutter. It's been a lot of clutter. You people need to... You people already? Oops. You folks, y'all need to start, uh, you know, straightening up your stuff. I'm joined here by my able... Sidekick? Sidekick, wife. Side assistant, Partner. JJ Gregory, she is in the uh, pug seat over there. And Twiglet Gregory. And Twiglet Gregory, yes. I'm also joined here by Q Healer and Michael Downey and Brownie 2021. And Garrett Griffin, a reader of Danny's essays and a correspondent too. And Hadar Baruch. Bienvenue. Hi to everybody. J-R-O is blessed, and a lot of other familiar faces. So yes, it was nice to see you, and Christian P., Liebe Gruß aus Deutschland. So yes, it's nice to have you all here. Oh, and Sang Sob. Sang Sob from, from Korea, who, what did he say? It's two o'clock in the morning? Two in the morning, that two. gets so much respect. Sang Sob. So much respect. I hope you're drinking uh, a lot of coffee. <laughs> yes. uh, and Cashew Paul, I believe that's a new face I haven't seen before. So it's, I'm glad to see new people, and I'm glad to see, of course, all of my... Oh, we have someone from, from India. Yes, Madhumi, Madhumita Modak, Daniela B. So yes. All right, so we're going to be... Um, we're going to be... Ah, Maria some, Teresa from Argentina. Yes, so we've got an international consortium here. And uh, that's really nice. So today, we're going to be working on something that was that kind of came about last week. Last week, I forget how it came about, but we started talking about Freud and how my grandfather met Freud and um, various other things related to Sigmund Freud. Sigmund... How did it come up? Was it about cl analyzing the clutter? I have no idea. What does, I think, your, what does your clutter say about your mental state? Possibly. Or maybe it was because there was People clutter. People who had we, no clutter? We lost the Freud picture in the clutter. <laughs> there were, I don't know. But um, so, yeah. So also, simultaneously, I wanted to bring up the fact that Sketchbook School Labs, or is it Draw With Me Labs? Draw With Me Labs has been working on some developments. So I wanted to tell you a bit about them. Yeah, so this is the first one. So... If you go to the home page of our channel, Sketchbook Soldier's channel, you'll see a little tab there that says community, right? And that community thing is something that I, I actually kind of use, but I bet you a lot of people don't even know about it. And it's basically like a little blog. And I post stuff about various videos, but also about Draw With Me. And here's a new thing that I'm doing. I'm posting the reference picture that we're going to draw from in advance. So if you wanted to, you can just click on it and drag it down. So you see how Freud is being clicked and dragged? You can just <laughs> drag it down to your desktop, and then you'll have that picture. So How, how hard did you work on this animation? I, I mean, like this that? Is, Yeah, that's pretty, pretty I didn't impressive. do it, actually. That's the sprawling team at Draw With Me Labs worked on that. <laughs> yeah, it has, it has uh, I think, you know... It was very expensive, but I think worth it. And here's the thing is if you subscribe to this channel, you will be notified of these new posts. One of many, 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 many reasons to subscribe to this channel. <laughs> Lisa Stewart clicked on it and it closed this window. All right, so maybe we're still working things out. Try opening it in another window. I, I can't do everything. I can't come to your house with a framed picture of Freud. I think the point is for next week, people yes. can now have exactly. the reference. Do it in Freud, advance. Right? Do it in advance, people. Do I? You know, preparation is key. What else did I want to talk about? Um, I wanted to talk about, oh, yes, the paper that we're going to be using today. It's going to be hand lettering paper. Now, we gave some of this away, I think, in February. Oh, well, we're about to give it away again. We're, we? we're going to give some more away, but I am curious to know if anyone who... I think we gave away like 10 sets of it in February. Did anyone here get it? Did anybody here get it, JJ is asking. Um, yeah, well, I think it is very nice paper. And 
I was using it for lettering, but I've started to draw on it. And the thing about it is, it is super, super smooth. It's really smooth. And um, yeah, I really like it. So obviously the cover is smooth, but the paper itself is just, it's just smooth. So if you're in the mood to like draw with a fine liner or do something like that, I think it's really nice. Is it like ice skating across a page? It's more like drawing with a lipstick on a mirror. Ooh. Right? Nice. So we're going to be giving away some pads, thanks to Hanamula's generosity. <laughs> and um, yes, you can I'm, get I think, some. I think, oh, let me double check, but I think four. Four. We have four of these pads. And I think that they're this size, right? They're the Yeah, they're the, 11... 0.7 by 16.5, you get 25 sheets. It's 170 okay. GSM. I think that's actually bigger than the one I have. Okay, well, good for you. Getting an even bigger one. <laughs> good for you. Good for you. Good for you people. Y'all. Okay. <laughs> all right. Y all, let's, you're let's, all going to score. Let's big time. Yeah, let's retire you people. We're Elena done. We're Hurst done with that. received the hand learning paper and loves it. Cool. Very nice. Christina points out that you people is what us Italians say. We Italians. How do, how do you say it in Italian? Popolo. That's, that's Latin. Pop, anyway. Um, but other people. <laughs> yes, other people. Tammy, Lois. A lot of people have been getting stuff from us. So that's nice. Uh, Tammy Murdoch. Yes, everything we have sent to Canada seems to never get there. Sorry, Tammy. It'll get there eventually. Customs took it. Really? I don't know. This is like the fourth or fifth Canadian. I sent somebody a mug. I'm still waiting for that to get there. Sorry, Tammy. So Joe, um, Joe Domeyer from Hanamula is here in the crowd. And uh, props to you, Joe. So yes, this is a, these are big ones. Big ones, bigger than mine. I actually have been using the even smaller one. So this is the A4 that I have, and I've been using whatever the even smaller one is. But I, I'm liking this paper a lot for drawing. And I'm also going to do some uh, dip pen with it. But of course, if you don't get one, you can always go buy yourself one. So, okay. Joe's going to look into whatever happened to that vanishing Canadian thing. It didn't come from Joe. It came from me. Ah. That's why it got screwed up, probably. <laughs> All right. I'm in a I'm in a bit of a in a war with the U.S. Postal Service. My wife is fighting with the U.S. Postal Service. You know how that's going to end up. She's going postal. It's not going to end up. Service. No, it's not good for we've me. Had, we've, had, we've had skirmishes on multiple fronts now with the Postal Service, and uh, yeah, we still love snail mail, but Postal Service sometimes you try our love. But okay, so here's another thought, which is I wrote this little book. It's called Never Feel Guilty About Making Art and Other Essays. As you may know, I write an essay every week. You may know that, and you may have chosen not to get it. We're going to be talking about Freud later on, so maybe we can analyze some of your issues around getting my weekly essays. I'm sorry if that's the case. But... Here's an added incentive, which is you can get this little ebook that I've written or collected some of my essays. It's like, it's, it's a few of the ones that I've written uh, relatively recently that I think you might like. And if you get it, if you come to dannysessays.com slash book, write it down. Even if you don't want to use it, you can share it with a friend. dannysessays.com slash book. I will give you a copy of the ebook. And then I will send you this every week. And it's absolutely free. Free of spam, free of nonsense, but loaded with, what would you say? Inspiration? Yeah, all the good stuff. Jokes, um, hyperbole, vocabulary. People are always telling me to say that they got, um, that they learned a word or two. I see that Basma God has downloaded it today so you must thank be a new you. subscriber that's so and nice she can't wait to read it thank you basma that is great and um yeah so if you already signed up chris says do you already have the book's contents in your inbox probably probably yeah it's like the five most popular essays right yeah it's it's the it's it's some of the it's good your stuff. favorites it's, your personal favorites some of my good stuff yeah 
Um, if you haven't and you really are desperate to get the copy of the ebook, let me know, and I'll probably send it to you. But it's going to cost quite a lot of money. If <laughs> Unless you're in Canada. I'm going to send it to you via Canada. <laughs> it's going to be sent via Canadian email. <laughs> Let's not get into a skirmish with Canada. No, I love Canada. The world is in enough, enough disarray right now without us having uh, sketchbook school slash Canada into Nassine Wars. That would not do. No. We love Canada. We love our Canadian friends. All right. So that's kind of it. Let's get on to it. Because I know that I know that some people have to leave. Yeah, Lisa only has a half an hour All for right, lunch. We better hurry things up. <laughs> my God. All right. We're going to hurry things up. Again, if you want to get this book, write to us, info at sketchbookschool.com. Tell us why you want it. And th- Please include your mailing address. Honestly, what is the percentage of people who don't include their mailing addresses when we ask them to? What I mean, I click and I disregard their message so quickly, it's hard for me it's to place a, a number on it. Yeah. It's a shame. You took the time to write. Just, I mean, how are we supposed to get it to you? Particularly if you're in Canada. No, don't write if you're in Canada. If you're in Canada, <laughs> we don't want to hear from you. Yeah. To keep- this is only for Americans. And I'm sorry, it's not because we don't like Americans. Oh, We're Joe is here. Joe is here. It's because we are sponsored by Hanamula USA. That's all. They're only interested in Americans. That's not, that's hardly true. But Well, I mean, okay, well, they're sponsoring us and they can only justify to headquarters in Germany shipping stuff within the United States. Yeah. If we were sponsored by Hanamula Canada which could happen one of these days, then, then we would expand the network. All right, right, now let's move on. Let's draw Freud. My goodness. All right, here's Freud. So this is, this is an exact copy of the picture that my grandfather had signed by Sigmund Freud in the mid-1930s. This picture was taken of Freud in 1921. So Freud was about 65 at the time. But this is sort of, this is like the classic Freud. This is the classic Freud picture. And uh, it is, you know, he's looking good. He's looking kind of badass. He's got the cigar. He's got the watch chain. And he's got this strange effect of tucking his bow tie underneath his collar. It's an interesting look. I don't know if it's a particular Freudian look, but... He's still, it's a good look. He's a, he's a dapper guy. He's got his hair slicked back. He's got that well-trimmed beard. He's going to be fun to draw. He's going to be fun to draw. He's kind of giving me like Woody Harrelson in a weird way. Maybe Woody Harrelson would play Freud, although I don't, I don't think he's got that. I mean, Freud has been, there's been a bunch of movies that Freud appeared in. Different people have, have asked, have uh, played him. But uh, I think he's good. It's like... So anyway, so let's, so what I want I want to do is I'm because I'm using this hand lettering paper. I'm probably going to do some lettering as well, but I'm going to start by just doing a drawing of him. And I'm using I'm using probably I'm going to use this. It's a Winsor Newton fine liner. It's an O3, and um, let's get into it, as they say on the internet. Let's dive in. You ever notice that it's like every internet. Every YouTube video, they always feel the obligation to say, let's jump in. Let's jump into this. So I'll, I'll say it too. Seems de rigueur. We can hear in the background, you might be able to hear Twiglet. Snoring. Snoring. Do you think she's dreaming? I moved my mic to the other side so it wouldn't be right next to her face. Do you think she's dreaming? She's dreaming of foodies. She had a very energetic dream this weekend. Barking, running, all kinds of things. I wonder what Freud would have said about that dream. I mean, what could dogs even be dreaming about? Well, they do dream though, right? Oh, for sure. Do you think you could interpret her dream? Or do you think it was just like, yeah, she was having a fight with her friend? I think the less I know about her thoughts, the better it is for all of us. So um, this is often the way that I start drawing a portrait is I start on the uh, upper left-hand side and I kind of draw the outline. And uh, then I come back in and 
I start drawing the features. So, Freud, I, Freud is a bit in disrepute now. Do you get that sense? I mean, I get it that, you know, he's part of the, like, patriarchy that has some outdated ideas. Patriarchy? Well, you know. I mean, we're talking about the 1930s. We're actually talking earlier than that. I guess. I thought that's when this photo was from. This version 19, of Freud. 1921. Oh, 21. Sorry. Yeah, but, I mean... What about Edith Wharton? Is she part of the matriarchy because she was in the 1880s? Don't say anything bad about Edith Wharton or I'll have to My wife is obsessed revolt. with Edith Wharton. So, um, I don't know. I think that there are other reasons. I think, I think psychology has evolved since then. I think he laid the groundwork for uh, a lot of really important ideas. But maybe... The whole idea that we are spending our whole lives reliving our sexual desires for our parents. Ugh. I was hoping you weren't going to go there. It wasn't me who went there. It was Sigmund Freud. Okay, let's talk about... So do you know what Sigmund Freud's middle name was? Why do I have a feeling this is going to be awful? It's not awful. His oh. middle name was Shlomo. Oh. Shlomo. And his name is, it wasn't actually Sigmund Freud, it was Sigismund Freud. So there, that's what I know about him. Where was he from originally? He is Austrian. But I think where he was born has like, like a lot of places in Eastern Europe, it's like changed what country it's in a few times. That's what I seem to remember. I don't know, I'm not a huge expert on him, obviously. Um, he. Can we just say to our friends in Europe and in the Ukraine, my goodness, we're thinking about you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I wrestle with what, how much to talk about the situation in Eastern Europe just because it's so difficult to know what to even say. But we are thinking about you. And, uh, and also our other friends. I was talking to a friend in Sweden yesterday, you know, and they're they're really feeling nervous. They are too, and they have refugees crossing the borders and stuff like that. But yeah, we are thinking about you. And I mean, we just like barely slowly making our way out of a pandemic. Yeah. World is crazy. So Freud. You know, Freud, uh, Freud's nephew, Lucian Freud, was a great painter. Probably one of your favorites. I do like him. Jack T. Gregory particularly liked Lucian Freud. Yeah. He died not that long ago. But uh, I think there's, there was some questions about his behavior also. Oh, dear. See, there's the patriarchy again. Yeah. delve too deeply into that here. <laughs> if we had just let Edith run things, we would have been better off. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear the snoring? I can. <laughs> Should I move my microphone again? No, it's okay. It's you know we don't have leaf blowers this week, so so we've re replaced them with the snoring pug. Gotta have a soundtrack. You know, I have a lot of psychologists in my family. 
as I, as I mentioned last week, my grandfather wanted to become a Freudian psychoanalyst, but wasn't able to, so he just became a, a general practitioner instead. But my mother has a PhD in psychology. Your father too, right? My father has a PhD in psychology. My sister has a PhD in psychology. My stepmother has a PhD in psychology. There's an awful lot of people with PhDs in my family. And I'm kind of the black sheep, sort of the loser. Aww. Well, I... I think I'm the only person in several generations, three generations maybe, to not have an advanced degree. So so they're better people than me, and they have no hesitation in reminding <laughs> me of that. But, you know, I've made, I've made do. Oh, my goodness, Garrett. What happened? Garrett. <laughs> Sorry, Garrett. Garrett referenced Bill and Ted, so he can do no wrong in my in my eyes. That's right. Wasn't Freud in Bill and Ted? I don't think it was Freud. It was some other. It was one of the other ones. It was one of the Grecians. The Grecians? It was like a Grecian. It was like... You mean the Greeks? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you mean the Grecian, the one who had the for, who invented the formula? I don't think there are any Greek um, psychiatrists. Socrates. That's right. Socrates. <laughs> So great. I've got to say, I'm really. This is, oh, I like how you did that hand. Thanks. Yeah, that thumb turned out nicely. Chili dog. Do you want to tell everyone about Momix? Um, well, we're going to a dance performance. Is it tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, tomorrow yeah. Night. The Scottsdale Momix. Center for the Arts. Yeah, Momix, which is a Modern, one of those dang fangled modern dancers. Oh my gosh, it's one of the coolest things ever. It is. We, we really like it. Basically, if you can ever go see Momix, M O M I X, make a point, do it. Maybe we should draw some Momix dancers next week. This photograph, Freud looks slightly cross-eyed, so I'm going to fix that. It is nice drawing a, a three-piece suit. I mean, I can't wait until you get to that fob. That's going to be fabulous. <laughs> this chain, <laughs> the chain. Mm. 
I mean, was he like a, a bit of a shorty pants? No, why? Mm. So you think he was short? That's very interesting. He has, he has like a short torso for a man. Never heard that said about him, but possible. He was a giant among men. Five eight, Tammy says. So okay, like, yeah. I mean, I that's, think that's taller than my grandfather was. My grandfather was like five six or something. That's why he couldn't become a psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> he needed a ladder to get to the big books on the top shelf. itching to do some writing so I might come back to this but I might transition now to some to a dip pen I was hoping you were going to do some dip penning today yeah so I wrote down a few quotes from Freud he wasn't eminently quotable But I found a few. Maybe I'll do one up, up here. Yeah. So I'm going to use this. This is in the ink. And let's hope that nothing disastrous happens. Regular viewers of this program will remember <laughs> the cataclysmic India Inc. incident of February 2013. Um, right, so yeah, it's already starting. Are you going to share the quote? The quote is, the more perfect a person is on the outside, the more demons they have on the inside. I don't know about this quote. Why? Because you're both perfect and not demonically possessed? <laughs> I'm going to be demonically possessed the next time I go to the post office. <laughs> I think what he's saying is, is true, which is if you seem to have it all together, right? If you seem to have it all worked out and you've got your act super buttoned up as they say you may actually be a mess inside and you and you are compensating for something I wouldn't know <laughs> I don't suffer from this problem Yeah, I think you might need to repeat this quote. More perfect a person is on the 
outside. The or the, but the in the original Austrian, the more. Demons. demons. Should you do demons in red? I should, but I don't have red ink candy, so. Some little horns on the E here. All demons they have. Oh, Bucky. Oh, my goodness. Oh. On the outside? Hmm? You're writing outside again? Yeah. See? <laughs> Must have been a demon. What are you going to do now? Come on, people. Help me out here. Inside. All right, so this is what happens. This is what happens when you are human. All right, here's another one. Let's do another one here. Um, sometimes. All right, give people a quote, maybe. No. Maybe I want to keep this a surprise. What? Sometimes. A cigar is just a cigar? You know. <laughs> do you remember my ex-wife, JJ? <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, what if I was a magician and you just ruined my career? Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. Do you think he ever actually said that? This doesn't seem like a very Freudian thing to say. Who knows? Um, how about... This is another quote allegedly from Freud. Dreams are often most profound when they seem the most crazy. It just doesn't really, that feels like a made up internet quote. But well, because he's, you know, that's crazy. like a bit of like self that's promotion. A good point. A Freudian slip. Well, not, not even that, but it's like he was in the business of like crazy dreams, right? Revealing dreams. Dreams. I like Fleetwood Mac streams. I was watching a video yesterday of this amazing calligrapher named Brody Neuenschwander, who I actually went to college with. He was sort of friendly with him back then, but now he's like the king 
the most amazing calligrapher ever. And he is doing an incredible piece of calligraphy. It's almost unreadable. He didn't misspell anything or put the wrong <laughs> words there, which is probably why he's so successful at it and why I'm just here. YouTube. Well, he took it more slowly. Let's say that. Yeah, he didn't have people saying. He that also have... used more than one type of writing implement for one single word. He used the brush was... and he used the pen. Okay, it seems elaborate to me. Yeah. All right. So that's sort of a thing. I guess I should put his name in here somewhere. Siggy. Siggy Zismund. Sig. The Sigster. Simund. In the version that you allegedly have, mm -hmm. where is the signature? It's down here. And what did the signature look like? Um, I can pull it out of the closet. It's just all packed up nicely. Sigismund. Shlomo. You're kind of Sorry. hiding your head is blocking the demo. It's true. All right, there we have it. What if you put your face over his face? Can you do it? Come on, it would be funny. What do you think? Face on there, yes. Oh my god, genius! I'm gonna turn your face in the other direction. Turn it in the other direction well, um, to match yeah. the photo, the reference. Oh, yeah, here. <laughs> Very interesting. So, what do you mean by turn it around? That's disrespectful to me, my art, and to Sigmund Freud all simultaneously. So. But then there's also this, of course. So anyway. That is sort of fun. Sort of fun. <laughs> <sighs> all right. Oh, um, Twiglet. Oh, Twiglet. Oh, I've got a revolt. I think, I think we've done enough. I think revolt. we've done enough I've damage to my reputation and to Freud's reputation all in one day. Janice claims that he actually said gentlemen there are times when a cigar is only a cigar. Not you people. Gentlemen? I don't know. You people. There are times. Yeah. Well, that's it. <laughs> that was mildly fun. I enjoyed that. Did you enjoy whatever you're doing over there? I mean, you know what's happening over here, but we shouldn't talk about it. Um, yes, we should be reading chat. You're right. I'm sorry. I've been. I'm sorry. I was just slightly busy doing something else. Um, so yeah. So that's it. Somebody asked for the snail mail address. Let me look it up. Snail mail address of what? Um, you know, like to send us a, a lovely oh, snail mail. 
Well, here's what I would suggest you do. Write to info at sketchbooksschool.com and ask for the snail mail address. What do you think about that? I mean, I can probably put it in the chat. I've just got this, like, pug problem here. All right. So, all right. Pew, pew, pew. Bang. There you go. Here's a reminder of all the things that I've been foisting upon you so far. If you want to get this pad, write to us. Uh, down here at the bottom, this is actually quite important. If you've never been here before, this is SBS, hashtag SBS draw with me. So if you want to share your drawing with us, which we would like you to do, put it on social media and tag it, hashtag SBS draw with me. Um, and if you would like to get this book that I mentioned before, go to dannysessies.com slash book. And if you're not utterly sick of the sound of my voice, you can check out our podcast, Art for All podcast. Um, I've been having some very interesting conversations with my friend John Muir Laws, and uh, they appear here on YouTube every Monday. So if you subscribe, you'll be alerted to that fact. And if you want to just put it on your... I was listening to it a couple days ago as I was walking. It's like, it's not a bad podcast. <laughs> In spite of the fact that my wife guffaws at every time I mention it, uh, I think it's not a bad podcast. It's, it's sort a of great podcast. And it's free. This is from somebody who never has listened to a podcast in her life. Don't be like her. Terry doesn't know how to post on social media. Okay. You can email it to info at sketchbook school. What? Seriously. Apparently, you can email it to us. I mean, Terry is kind of my hero. I wish I didn't know how to post on social media. That sounds like Terry, a great state on. of being. Terry, just as social media is withering in its influence, you're entering into it. So welcome to the party. Surely you know how to share like a picture of your schnauzer or uh, your bunion or whatever it is that people oh, post on Danny. social media. What is it people post? I don't the, breakfast, the breakfast. The breakfast. They breakfast. They post okay. the breakfast. So the if bagel. you post your breakfast, just post this. And then underneath it, just write hashtag SBS draw with me. We'll find it. We have ways of finding this stuff out. We will unearth it from the subconscious of the internet and bring it to into the daylight. And there we will analyze it, scrutinize it, and possibly share it. Uh, uh, possibly, possibly publish it in a book? No, it becomes part of next week's pre-roll. becomes part of next week's Hey, next week is St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Oh my goodness. Maybe green beer. Yes. Uh, St. Patrick's Day. Should we do something to draw something to do with St. Patrick's Day? Yes. What, like a drunken person lying in a gutter? I always remember having somebody uh, who had just drunk a McDonald's green milkshake, what it was called? Shamrock shake? Shamrock shake threw up on me on the subway. <laughs> That's when you really miss New York. <laughs> <laughs> yes, time change next week for some of you. Not in Arizona. For those of you who live in the more primitive parts of the country, you will have a time change next week. For those of us here in the kind of top of the pyramid here in Phoenix, <laughs> oh we God. don't have to subscribe to these kinds of things. You people oh, might Danny. need to change your clocks. But y'all, um, yes, we don't have to. Ah, Afia is suggesting a potato. No, you know what they have? Seize Candy makes a potato. As my wife is pointing out, Lucky Charms has just come out with a special version that makes the milk green in your bowl. So maybe we'll draw that. Um, yes, Cynthia Zick can't remember how to get into the schoolyard. Seriously, Cindy Seriously, Zick? Cynthia? Cindy Zick. You've been around for long enough. Just to, write me. To I'll help to, you. I'll help you. You know what to do. Ah, quiet path. Is <laughs> it's always about path. C's. You know, the C's, the St. Patrick's Day potato is very cute. All right. So why is quiet path going to send me a pet alligator? <laughs> I don't think my dog would like that. Yeah. Mini drawings of green food. Maybe we can draw coriander again. Like, that was really fun a couple weeks ago. 
Um, we'll think of something entertaining. And when we do, you know what we'll do? You know what we'll do? I don't. I'll show you. Because I'm super cool. We'll post it. Oh. Under the community tab. Yeah, community tab. And you know what happens then? You can be ready to go. You can drag it like Sigmund Freud. You can like see how Sigmund Freud is unceremoniously dragged off the page. We will do that with whatever it is we're going to draw. A yeah, leprechaun? No, a leprechaun's fun. kind of boring. How about St. Patrick? How about, oh. The snakes? Exactly. No. Next week we're going to draw snakes on Draw With Me. No. <laughs> yes, we'll be drawing snakes. No. We'll be drawing snakes and then we'll be erasing them. What's that? Let's stick to the seas potato. Drawing a potato. That just seems insulting to Irish people. I mean, you just do nothing but draw toast. Why is a potato worse than that? Why don't we draw... Um, Pot of gold? I was thinking... Do we have any metallics? I was thinking a bottle of Irish whiskey. Do we have... Oh. Do we have, like, metallics, though? Any kind of cool metallics? You could do golden... Jane says that she watches The Quiet Man. We could watch uh, My Left Foot. Isn't, um, is Train Spotting an Irish film? No. No. What is that film that you really hate about the, the guy, the singers, the Irish? Oh, God. What is that? Once, it's called. Once. Oh, I hate that film. It's a really romantic film. Deborah suggests Green Eggs and Ham. Can you draw Green Eggs and Ham? Pint of Guinness. Interesting. Dorothy suggests the Book of Kells. Maybe we could copy the entire Book of Kells. How long is it? Oh, my goodness. No, we've, already, we've done enough calligraphy. A Guinness poster. Not a bad idea. Actually. The Commitments. What a great movie. Maybe we'll copy a Guinness poster. I love this idea. They had the coolest posters. Yeah, like with a toucan. That might be a thing. We'll see. Okay, we're definitely going to do something maybe to do with St. Patrick's Day. We're going to celebrate. We'll probably, should we drink beer? Should we, should we get up, drink beer before draw with me? Don't we usually? <laughs> right. We might. Maybe we could have my mother-in-law, who basically is a leprechaun, to come. Do you want to show the picture? I think I have a picture of her somewhere. Oh, I'll show you. I'll send it to you <laughs> right now. This is a picture that my mother-in-law, she's cr so crazy about well, they Saint saw Patrick's the Day. they saw the Saint pa but they saw, saw the you Valentine's, saw Valentine's Day. Day, but she was so crazy about Saint Patrick's Day that she is already pre gaming. A, a week ago, she was dressed in pre, full leprechaun pre gear. Pre game, yeah, it was it was kind of nuts. Here you go. Here I have it. Here we go. She is. <laughs> Come on, is this not the cutest human? Look at that. This is how she shows up at a, at a barbecue, a family barbecue. <laughs> I mean, shamrocks on the socks. Shamrocks on the socks. Shamrock scarf. Shamrock pin on the scarf. Yeah, and the little bonnet. Uh, bonnet. And uh, She's she, 90. She's, she's 90. She's 90 years old. But, uh, yes. There she is. There she is, Margie James in all glory. All right, we're gonna draw her, I guess. No, I'm. I'll just. Des I'll decide around here what happens. All right, good. Maybe we'll draw her. <laughs> All right. She wishes she were Irish. Oh, she, she's Irish. Oh my goodness! Believe me, she's she Irish. Is a, she's Irish as they come. She's a haggerty. She's a haggerty. She made the mistake of marrying a man who's half half Scottish, Scots. Very good at doing an Irish accent, clearly. So, all right. So we'll do something. We'll do something cool. It'll be really fun. Show up. Bring some friends. Are you doing this all alone? It's supposed. To, it's called draw with me, but get some people to draw with you. Bring on a whole bunch, and um, let's let's have some fun. Let's do some drawings. I'll see you next week. And uh, here's the obligatory sign off. Bye bye. Thanks and thanks, JJ. And Twiglet. Hey, for, my pleasure. For Always. Your, your support and uh, encouragement. Thanks for drawing with me today. We'd love to see what you made. So please post it on social media or put it in the Sketchbook School schoolyard 
and make sure to tag it, hashtag SBS Draw With Me. Thanks very much to our sponsors, Hanamula and Windsor and & Newton. And if you'd like some more inspiration for your creativity, here are three things that you can do. One, subscribe to this channel, and you'll know when I make new videos, which I do every week. Two, sign up for my free weekly. A lot of people seem to like it, maybe because it's free. And third, watch another video.